Right, so the one thing we haven't covered yet um, today, we talked about grasses and uh, found the upright brome. And you, if you've got, I'll give you some handouts of these grasses. Can I sit nearer? Yeah. Yes. I, which is your good ear, John? Nice to you, by me. Thanks a lot. Um, if you, if you sit, hang on. No, if you sit here, then I can get your good ear. Right. That might be easier. Hmm. I think this is mine. Yeah. Thank you. So you can hear me better. Gosh, this is That's better, is it? It's a long way down, though. Once you sit down, you'll never get up. Okay, I'm very high up. <laughs> right, so like with, I'm going to give you handouts as well. So when you get home, you can have a read. Yes. And also, um, if you come for a walk again um, sometime on your own, you'll have the grass pictures with you. So you can take <coughs> them with you and see whether you can identify them, because some of them are quite easy to tell apart. So things like the upright brome you might be able to spot easily, quaking grass you'll be able to spot easily, um, and also the crested dogstail is quite easy to spot. So you'll hopefully you'll be able to um, um, you know see them when you when you're walking. But the thing I want to talk to you about now, while we are indoors, so it's not so noisy because this is quite complicated. What I'm going to talk about is the actual structure of the flower of the grasses. When I say flower, does anybody know why I'm talking about flowers on grasses? Are grasses flowers? Um, if you're talking about the little ones we looked at, the rock rose, I suppose. There are, so some flowers will look like, say, like rock rose. Yes. They will look like a kind of typical flower. It will have petals, it will have sepals, nice, neat, you know, stem and leaves. That's what most people think about when you think about flowers yes. and plants in general. But grasses are also plants and they also have a flower. Mm. It's just that you can't see the flower very much or what you see is you know doesn't look like that's a flower. Word producing seed. So that yes. is a flower. Oh. But you know it doesn't look like a flower, does it? Yeah, yeah. Grass it looks like me. a grass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but they're still flowering in much the same way yeah. as other plants do. So they have a different flower structure, but they will still have things like an ovary to produce their seed, Eat. where the egg is going to be, and they still will have um, an anther which where the you know where, where the or stamen with anther and filament where the um, pollen is going to be so they are still um, reproducing in the same way um, you know either so sexually basically so they have to have a fertilized egg yes. by um, by the pollen just like on other plants so that's what you have to remember about you know grasses that they are still you know reproducing in much the same way as other more, more conventional looking, more typical looking flowers. And the thing to also remember about the, the grass flower structure is it's quite complicated. That's why I wanted to do this indoors because there's lots of new words I'm going to be throwing at you. Oh dear. Hopefully you'll remember <laughs> because there's a little matching game at the end, as always, so, so I, can, I can see whether you learned what I wanted you to learn. And there's some botanical terms that you'll have to try to remember about the gra grass flower structure. So we'll start with the, the most basic part of the, um, of the grass flower, and that is a floret. So you've got that there, that's your floret structure, that's your basic of a, of a grass flower. Okay? So that will have the business parts, like the um, ovary, where the, that one, the green one, mm -hmm. where the egg's going to be inside, and then you'll have the feathery stem.